Okay guys, I'm back. I uh, fixed up a uh, little canvas as you can see. <clears throat> We're going to use... Um, Oh, there's not much left in here, but, but we're going to use this as a background color. But before I do that, I should have put it in a cup because man, this one I need for the, uh, that's a different color. Uh -oh. Let's mix that up a little so we don't see that. It has to be a little thinner because uh, otherwise it's not going to work like I want it to work. So we're going to spread that out. My chocolate still is not here. I've been waiting the whole day. It's, I don't think it's going to be here anymore. They usually don't come this late on Saturday. So I uh, don't know what uh, what's up with that. But... When I, when I buy something at a company that I've never bought before, I usually do, if they have it, I do uh, PayPal because uh, they sort of do a good job if you don't get your goods that you get your money back. So I'm pretty happy with that. We'll see what happens. It's not that much. I didn't buy like a truckload of chocolate. But I did buy enough, <laughs> like half a kilo. <laughs> yep, Cadbury's Fruit Net. I sort of like that. And I bought Crunch. Crunchy or Crunch. That is something that I, as a child, I, I had that in uh, Australia. And um, I have once had it after that. That was in Singapore, where they had that. And that was, uh, let's see, wow, 30 years ago. So I'm pretty excited to taste that again. Do you guys have that too? Things that you have, you know, that you haven't had for a really long time that you sort of really want that? I, I have that really often. Those uh, Aussie meat pies. You know, nothing compares to that. Nothing. I have never seen anything here in Holland that even resembles that stuff. So uh, I tried to make my own a couple of times, but it's not the same taste. Okay, here we go. We're going to add four might be too much. That might be too much. Then we don't have all the negative space. So I'm going to do three and I'm going to, ooh, before I forget to put the silicone in, a couple of drops of silicone in all the colors. That's another question I get very often. Where do you put the silicone in? Well, a lot of people that have been following me from day one know that my second name is silicone because I put it in every single color, only not in the background because then you get all those pits. Don't do that. That makes it ugly. So um, background color, no silicone. All the other colors, silicone because we want the cells. And I still get questions about what does the torch do? <laughs> well, it gets rid of your air bubbles and if you use silicone in the paint, it'll pull the silicone to the surface to make the cells. That's what it does. Now I'm going to start off with a little bit of white. Well, not white, eggshell. This is titanium white with Naples yellow. Then I'm going to put in the turquoise because I like it so much. Turquoise I make with phalo blue and green and titanium white. You can use mixing white, but mixing white is transparent. And you need a lot more of it to get to the right color. So that's why I use the titanium. Then I'm going to put in that nice burnt sienna. This is burnt sienna transparent. You have opaque and transparent, but I usually 99% of the time use the transparent one. Then I'm going to put in the orange because I think that looks really cool with the uh, burnt sienna. This is just normal orange from uh, Windsor and Newton. And this yellow is yellow with a lot of uh, this color in it. 
because I, I, I thought the uh, normal yellow was just a little on the bright side. Then I'm going to come in with the dark brown and I'm making sure that it is all around the sides because I'm hoping that this is going to leak into the background. There you go. And I'm going to finish it off with more turquoise. There we go. And I came up with something that I think will work perfectly for painting fabric without using all those harsh chemicals. Because tell me, guys, is this, this is a perfect shibori color, right? The indigo color. So I have an old t-shirt soaking in some soda water. And I'm going to be using that soon. Yes. Maybe even tomorrow. And I'll video it, of course, because... Of course, all you people want to see me do that. And if it's a complete disaster, I know that you guys will be cheering me on <laughs> and laughing your head off, but that's okay. We're going to put in a little bit more of this around the, uh, the caps. A little bit more. That's it. Okay, we're ready to do the releasing of the paints. Releasing of the paint and releasing of the paint, and it released all. Oh, yeah, this I want to put the glitter on because I want to, I want to see if it is going to go all into those cells. So the glitter is on top, and now I'm making it so. And with a little bit of luck, the glitter is going to sort of pull around those cells. I think I overdid it on, this, on the glitter, but it's looking okay. It's different. I'm going to let it run down here a little with that kind of motion. Letting it run back. That's kind of nice. Yeah, now it's sort of where I want it. But I would have liked this to go into the background, but I don't think that's going to happen. So I think I have to help it a little bit with the straw. Uh, not a big straw. Let's see what's happening. Nah, I'm not really seeing it moving into the background like I thought it would. I do have another, I think I have some sort of plastic thing somewhere here. No, I don't. I don't know where I left that. Okay, straw will have to do. I do want it a little bit jaggedy in the in the background. That looks good. Although I'm thinking maybe I should just get some paint in here and make those really nice. And no, I like the way this uh, the glitter is now. On the edge, that sort of looks really cool. This is a lot of glitter. That is nice. But it's not like glitter glitter. Now it's just like solid gold. Because it's laying nicely on top of the paint. That really looks cool. I am going to try and see if I can get some cells down there. Yep. couple of little cells that's cute 
think I'll leave it like this. Are we in focus here? Yeah, we are. Yeah. I think the colors are nice. I think the uh, the turquoise sort of pops when the, the orange comes next to it or the uh, burnt sienna. Uh, I, I do really feel an itch to do something more to it, but I'm pretty sure if I do that, I'm going to really ruin it. And I would have done it if I had not have had all that beautiful glitter sort of doing its thing. I'm not sure if I can show you up close. I can't tilt it too much because it's still wet. But there is all these sort of veins of uh, glitter and that sort of makes it different. It really looks good. Here you can see the gold and here and here. But also there are a lot of veins of gold so that makes it look special we'll just uh leave it as is okay guys i want to thank you i was going to do my starfish because um last week i was talking about the the swipe i did um i can't get it its way over there but i did the swipe and i said i was going to do a seahorse but a couple of people said do a starfish and the minute I read that, I thought, yep, that's what I'm going to put on that canvas. So I'm going to get that ready for tomorrow. And uh, we're going to do transfer tomorrow. I'll explain it all for everyone that, you know, doesn't know how to do it. So I'll see you all tomorrow. Love you all to pieces. And have a beautiful Saturday. Bye-bye.